Hello and welcome also from my side. So my master's thesis is about cooperative supermarkets. Let's start with some orientation. The current dominant food system, conventional supermarkets, are profit-oriented and rather resource-intensive. There's a high market concentration and corporate power. However, it offers a big variety of products at low prices and convenience for consumers. Alternative food networks show an immense diversity, but overall positive environmental, economic and social effects. And cooperative supermarkets, a subtype with democratic structures, combine benefits of both of these systems. Therefore, my objectives and research question, uh, my objectives were to identify structures and functions of well-working cooperative supermarkets. So consequently, my research question is, which success factors and barriers exist and affect the performance of cooperative supermarkets? Success factors and barriers which are found in literature were the basis for the formation of the deductive codes. These were, for example, the expenditure of time or financial resources. I then completed them by inductive codes, which I developed by analyzing the findings from research. As empirical research design, I chose case study research with qualitative research approach. Data collection was done by 22 interviews, and I applied Meiring's and Kukat's concept for qualitative content analysis, which I um, adapted according to my thesis requirements, including the critical success factor method. As case studies, I chose the long-existing Park Slope Food Corp supermarket in New York City and the young institution Peace Corp in Brussels. Both have the same general concept, but show contrasts as they are located on different continents and have a different duration of existence. The examined concept is like a normal supermarket with a wide range of products, long opening hours, but non-profit oriented and collectively owned by a cooperative share of 100 euros or dollars per person. The products are of high quality, and most of them are organic and regional, and only members can go shopping there. The core of the concept is the equally required work participation model. Every member has to work nearly three hours every four weeks, so the members themselves provide the main labor pool to make the supermarket run, and this allows to offer lower prices. However, a small number of paid staff members is also needed. My interviews with members showed that um, providing a shopping possibility in the very beginning is beneficial, and both case studies started small with a buying group. The work participation concept was developed over time, and it turned out that sanctions and rules are needed in order to make it work. Both Case studies started small, um, with renting small locations, financed by a markup on products and personal investments by participants. Later, both got bank loans for buying buildings. Peace Corp um, got funding by authorities, but Park Slope never did. Both are collecting membership fees, but um, Park Slope Food Corp only started later on. So access to sustainable, high-quality products at low prices was mentioned as a main success factor. Products are as sustainable as possible, but not completely organic original. And prices are not super cheap, but rather fair for consumers and producers. Another important success factor is the equally required work participation concept. Thereby, cost for labor can be kept low, and consequently, high-quality products can be offered at low prices. And since nobody can buy um, one's way out of it, there are the same conditions for everyone, which creates equality and community. Both received investment fees by members and charged a markup on products, which allowed cash flow. Besides, the unpaid labor pool is an indirect source. And Peace, Peace Corp also got the external funding and free full-time employment by, financed by the city of Brussels. There's a distinction between strategic and operative decision-making. Strategic decisions, which um, regarding the general um, development of, of the co-op, are collectively taken at the general meeting. One person, one vote applies. And the day-to-day -day decisions regarding running the store are transferred to individuals in order to be more efficient. For collective decision-making, clearly defined rules and face-to-face -face discussions are needed. At Park Slope Food Corp, a simple majority is applied. In contrast, at Peace Corp, 100% consensus is required. 
which is quite challenging. It requires a lot of preparation and organization and experience in collective decision-making methods. At both cases, having a social meeting point and belonging to something bigger was mentioned as very important. Also, members in Brussels and New York City stated that challenging human relations can occur and therefore a willingness um, to have a dialogue and a respectful attitude is needed. Suppliers emphasized the importance of having um, a good relationship between business partners and having similar values. Furthermore, delivering to a corporate supermarket allows small suppliers to sell higher volumes. However, a certain dis, um, level of disorganization concerning stock was mentioned, which can, which can hinder frequent orders and their constant presence on the shelves. Lower markups on products cause lower retail prices, so products are cheaper and suppliers can sell more products, which is beneficial for them. Furthermore, cooperative supermarkets are easier accessible for, sm for small brands and there are no slotting or imaging fees and there's less price, price pressure. So the most important success factors are offering high quality products at low prices at a one-stop shopping destination with long opening hours. Furthermore, the equally required work participation concept, monitoring finances, having funding and investment fees, as well as good communication, transparency and rules. So, and my findings are already put into practice. The association Mila Mitmach Supermarkt is currently building a cooperative supermarket in Vienna. Mila has about 500 members at the moment and there is already a shopping possibility in a small store. And the next big step will be the foundation of the cooperative in the beginning of 2023. Thank you very much for your attention and I'm happy to answer your questions now. <laughs>